Lagrangius Lagrangius theorem for polynomial theorem if p is prime if p is prime and and f of x equals an x to the power of n plus an minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus an minus 2 into x to the power of n minus 2 plus so on plus a1x plus a0 here nth polynomial is not equal to 0 mod p nth polynomial it is not equal to 0 this uh, the, this meaning is nth polynomial is not equal to 0 so n is co not congruent to 0 mod p is a polynomial is a polynomial of degree degree n is greater than equal to 1 n is greater than equal to 1 with with coefficients with coefficients then then the congruence then the congruence f of x is congruent to 0 mod p 0 mod p uh, you have n solution that the, that means you have n solution if you have n solution means you have n solutions of uh, n incongruent solutions also so here then the congruence of f of x is congruent to 0 mod p means you will get a n, n number of solutions here so you will get n number of solution means uh, in at least n incongruent solutions also there so as at most at most n incongruence in congruent solutions solutions mod p mod p here otherwise or modulo p modulo so proof yeah we prove we prove this theorem this theorem by induction induction on n induction on n of degree of degree of f of x degree of f of x if n equals 1 if n equals 1 so what happened here you taking if you take uh, n equals 1 you will get only two elements that is f of x equals a1 x plus a0 here by the 
स्टेटमेंट ए एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए एन इज नॉट कॉन्ग्रेन टू जीरो मोड पी दैट मीन्स इफ यू पुट एन इक्वल्स वन और यू गेट ए वन इज नॉट कॉन्ग्रेन टू जीरो मोड पी जीरो मोड पी सो ए वन इज नॉट कॉन्ग्रेन टू मीन्स ए डज नॉट डिवाइड्स ए वन सो डज नॉट डिवाइड्स मीन्स यू कैन राइट ए वन कमा पी जी सी डी ऑफ ए वन कमा पी इज ऑलवेज वन इट इज ऑलवेज वन सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट लीनियर कॉन्क्रेंस लीनियर कॉन्क्रेंस ए वन एक्स इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू माइनस ए नॉट इन टू मॉट पी हैज एज ए यूनिक सोल्यूशन यूनिक सोल्यूशन सो दैट मीन्स यू गेट ओनली वन सोल्यूशन हि सो नेक्स्ट इ you get unique solution now so here this is uh, this is true for n equals 1 now suppose suppose result is result is true for n equals k minus वन सपोज द रिजल्ट इज प्रूफर एन इक्वल्स के माइनस वन नाउ टू प्रूव टू प्रूव एन इक्वल्स के नाउ यू हेव टू प्रूव एन इक्वल्स के Now, so here to prove n equals k means you will get ten two solution, ah, uh, two possibilities. So one, ah, uh, one is either either f of x is congruent to zero mod p has no solution as no solution. Or another one is, or it has at least at least one solution, at least one solution, one solution, ah, uh, one solution. Call it as. A, I call it as A. Now, if if f of x f of x is divides by divides by x minus a, f of x is divided by x minus a. This implies that yeah, f of x equals x minus a into some q of x here plus remainder plus remainder so here if i put x is equal to a if i put x is equal to a so what happened this one this one is f of a equals a minus a you will get into q of a plus remainder so this is also zero and from the definition here what is f of x f of x is zero mod p so f of x equals zero so f of x equals zero means f of a is also zero so zero is congruent to here this is also zero you get so 
or remainder will get R here into mod P will get mod P. So this implies that again f of x can be written as f of x is congruent to x minus a into q of x into mod p so here whatever this one is your n plus 1 here n equals k induction uh, variations here this is your q of x now if if I take another one positivity so if B is another another one of incongruent incongruent so incongruent solution incongruent solution of f of x is congruent to 0 mod p f of x is congruent to 0 mod p so this implies that f of b is congruent to b minus a into q of b into mod p so i am substituting directly for this equation okay so here this is uh, f of x is 0 f of x is 0 means f of b is also 0 so this this is uh, congruent 0 and here b minus a is not equal to 0 b minus a is not equal to 0 means and here Q of B, Q of B is equal to, it becomes 0. So, from the here, because only A is not congruent to B mod P. So, here, because A is not congruent to B mod P from the definition, uh, from the statement here. So, what you get? B minus C is not equal to? 0 b minus a is not equal to 0 means this becomes 0 and q of b becomes uh, q, uh, q of b becomes 0 so these two become 0 so this implies that q of x here q of x is congruent to 0 mod p you can write we can write this one as q of x is congruent to 0 mod p b satisfied satisfied by by induction hypothesis by induction hypothesis means above statement q of x has at most at most k minus 1 in congruent incongruent incongruent solution incongruent solution so this implies that f of x is congruent to 0 mod p 0 mod p has at most at most at most k incongruent solution incongruent solution so this proves this theorem so what you have to prove n equals k so you'll get k incongruent solutions here